I think my holy grail has been dethroned. If you have always wanted to know how the Clinique Take the Day Off works in comparison to the Lancome Bifacial Makeup Remover, then stick around because I'm going to be demonstrating how each of them work. Hey everyone, I'm Wago Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Wago stands for when you get old. All right, so today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of how each of these makeup removers work to remove waterproof mascara. So my holy grail for the past two years has been the Lancome Bifacial. What do they actually call this? I just refer to it as the Bifacial. The Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. This works really, really well. The problem I have with this and why I've been trying to find a replacement is that it is really, really expensive. This 200 milliliter or 6.7 fluid ounce container retails for $52. Yeah, you heard me right, $52. Whereas the Clinique Take the Day Off, the similar size, the 200 ml, retails for $34. I have a travel sample size. This is $15. Uh, had I known how good this was, I would have picked up a larger bottle. As I mentioned in my intro, I've been using the Lancome by Fossil for close to two years now. It lasts a really long time. I mean, it's still really pricey, but this size bottle will last me almost a year. Granted, I'm not removing mascara every single day, but when I do, I just shake it up and I take a Q-tip, dip it in uh, both sides, you know, one at a time, and I usually have to do two Q-tips per eye, so a total of four Q-tips, and, you know, it, it doesn't use that much. You know, over a year, it will finally empty which if you calculate $52, it lasts for a year, a dollar a week, if you say it like that, it's like, sure, spend the money. But no, $52 is expensive. When I picked this up two years ago, it was offered in the Sephora VIB sale or the Ulta sale, I forget, possibly in both, and it was half price. Yes, it had to be the Ulta sale because they did the 50% off, and I picked up two of them, so for $26 each, to, fantastic price. Sadly, they haven't offered it since then, and I've been kicking myself in the head for not buying more. However, in the recent spring Sephora VIB sale, this was only 20% off, sadly, uh, but the sample size was $15. I thought, you know, I've heard really good things about this. Never tried it. Let's pick it up and see how it works. OMG. I've only used it once, but that one time I only had to use one Q-tip, both sides, to remove the same amount of mascara. Now that could have just been a fluke, but today we're going to find out because I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's start out with the tried and true Lancome product. By the way, Bifacil means that there are two formulations water-based and this one has alcohol-based or uh, could have silicones. It just means you have to shake it up in order to get the two combined. Think of it like a, a vinaigrette where you have oil and water. They will separate, but when you shake it up, it will emulsify and then you can pour it on your salad. Same functionality. All right, so I'm just gonna shake it up. I'm gonna take my Q-tip and dip it on in. All right, that's how I start. And now I'm just going to start rubbing it on to remove my mascara. If anyone's curious, I'm wearing the L'Oreal, what's it called? The Lift, Lash Lifter, you know, the one that went viral on TikTok because a certain influencer was wearing false eyelashes when she didn't need to because that mascara is spectacular. But okay, so there is one pass and as you can tell, it is very, very black from all of the mascara. And what I do is I simply take a 
tissue or Kleenex and wipe away like so. As you can tell, I still have a mascara, which is where the second side of the Q-tip comes into play. Okay, we're gonna shake it up, dip it in, and go in with the second cleanse, or just, you know, finishing up the first cleanse. And this may or may not be the best method. It's how I always take off my mascara. Some people may grab a cotton ball or a cotton square. I just find that that really uses up the product a lot because you get way more product in those cotton pads as one would ever need around their eye. So let me know if you do the same with a Q-tip or if you go in with a cotton pad. But this just works for me and I find you don't burn through product as quickly. All right, I'm gonna wipe away. Okay, so I'll zoom in. There's still mascara. Not a lot, but this is where I always have to go in with a second Q-tip. Rinse and repeat. And the first time I used that Clinique product, I didn't have to grab a second one. So let's see if that was a fluke or if it will happen again. So this should be the final cleanse, but let's find out. And as you can tell, every swipe it gets less and less product. We'll do one last little wipe. There's a little more. I'm just gonna go back in and do a little more rubbing. Excuse any weird faces I be be be, be I may be making as I remove this. I'm sure we all kind of make weird faces as we apply or even remove our mascara. All right, that looks good to me. So now we need to try the Clinique Take the Day Off. This one, you have to push down, twist. It has a wide open mouth, and I guess I need the lid on for me to shake it. On this one, it just had a wide opening so I could put my finger on top. This one, no. Lid on. Take the Q-tip, dip it in. Because it's so wide, I think I get a little more product. Maybe that's what's going on. All right, so let's see how well the Clinique Take the Day Off works in comparison to the Lancome by Fossil. You can tell, sorry if I'm grossing anyone out, it's messy. It's called removing mascara. But if you truly are here because you wanna know which works best and can you save yourself a lot of money then keep watching because you will be impressed at least when I used this last time I was really impressed all right where's my tissue right here we're just gonna swipe away again that's what came off here you can see what's been removed I'm gonna go in second dip Go to town with the second cleanse. I must say, I didn't occur to me, I didn't, it didn't occur to me before. I think what may be happening is the amount of product that's ending up on the Q-tip, because it's such a wide opening, I'm getting a little more, I'm noticing it's more saturated. So maybe I just need to let the Q-tip linger in the Lancome a little longer, but let's take a look here. Sorry, wipe this away. Now, I'm gonna post on screen the ingredients side by side. I was surprised, cause A, I've, I never looked at the ingredients before. It didn't really occur to me. I just read reviews and purchased it and started using it. All right, there's the second wipe. Do you see how it's very close? There's a little bit still remaining, but I don't think I need to go in with another Q-tip. I think I can just take the same Q-tip and just kind of rub a little longer. 
I interrupted myself. What was I saying? Oh, I was surprised when I actually looked at the ingredients before starting filming today. I wasn't aware that the bifacil actually has alcohol in it, which is not good for anyone's skin, particularly mature dry skin, which is what I have. The uh, Clinique, take the day off. I did not notice any alcohol. So that's another reason I'm excited to start using this as my new holy grail. All right, I just need to rub that off and let's see. Mm, there's a little bit left. I'm gonna take that other end from the uh, Lancome side. Reshake this because I, I didn't do a second shake. Lazy and didn't feel like putting the lid back on, but let's shake her up good. I'm just gonna do a quick dip because I don't need as much. And you probably on camera aren't seeing what I'm seeing up close. There's just a little bit. Let's see if this was really necessary. You can tell on the white if you see black end up on the Q-tip. Let's do a little swipe and then a wipe. A little discolored all right so there you go did I really need to use that third dip probably not I probably could have gone back in but I did to be fair I did to get it 100% now as you saw both of these products work fantastic to remove waterproof mascara my only issue with this Lancome which again I've been using for two years is the price $52 this is a $15 sample the same size as this one would run $34 still not cheap but if you can get it on sale during whether it's VIB or even better if it's 50% off during an Ulta sale or at Macy's when they have the Clinique counter sale or if you spend you know 80 bucks and then you get a $150 free whatever you know Clinique I think is a much better price and it works just the same if not better than the Lancome and it does not include alcohol but now I want to hear from you I would love to know if there is a drugstore or brand that's even cheaper than the Clinique that works just as well if so leave me a comment and let me know because I would want to test it out I'm all about products that work well, but that don't break the bank. All right, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a big favor, clicking the thumbs up really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.